Hey, it's Steve and Stephanie with Feral Focus. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Today we are doing our year in review for camping because we purchased our pop-up tent trailer just a little over a year ago. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Because it seems like so much longer. We had a goal to just kind of get out of our humdrum. I mean, we are in a busy lifestyle. He's got a business that he runs a photography studio and he is just constantly on the go and i can hardly even get you to take a day off let alone a weekend off so working weekends we tr decided to try and take a trip a month in our camper for three days the first time we went one day it was <laughs> <laughs> like all that setup just to spend the night mm. and come home was not worth it. No. So I thought I would just kind of give you um, a review and the first part of the year we didn't make it every month but we we made it a lot and we're doing really good this year. I mean we've got it down into a groove. So I thought I would kind of remind you of some of our trips and just kind of tell our first memories. The first time we slept in our camper was in our family camp last year. Do you remember that? Super cool, yeah. Getting, we were cramming like crazy to get ready before that trip. And it was like a lot of work for you. I mean, we, we did a lot of that um, remodel. If you haven't seen the tour of our pop-up tent trailer makeover, I'll put a link in the description box because you can see what we did. But we actually ended up cramming and getting a lot of that done right before this trip with our family. And it was worth it. It was so nice. I loved staying in it. It was super cool, yeah. Do you remember that? Yep, new floors, painting everything, um, new hatch on the front of it. It was uh, a lot of work. But what was your favorite part with the camper on that trip? Because mine was, there was a moment uh, we were in our little camper and it was new to us. I mean, it was our first time to stay in it and it was nice. It was really nice. There was this moment when the grandkids came knocking on the door and they wanted to come in and they <laughs> sat at the table. It was so cute. And one of my fondest memories was my grandma's trailer and sitting at her table and looking over and seeing them sit at the table. It was just a moment for me. Yeah, super cute. You know, when the grandkids come in, it, it makes everything happen. I, I, I think I love just the fact that it's, once you once you pull out the sides, it's, it's there's just like a lot of room in there. So it's just really kind of neat to, you know, pull this thing which is fairly small and then open it up and all of a sudden you have a ton of room. So and all windows around, so it's nice and light, yeah. airy. Okay, so that was our first time to stay in it, and it was a success. We parked it, we set it up, everything was great. Uh, all of our plans worked, and I don't remember any problems. Do you? <clears throat> no. Mm -mm. So yep. then we went, and I actually didn't even put this on the list, but we did that one-nighter over on the coast in that camp spot, and we just drove over in the day, spent the night, and then drove home the next day, and it was so not fun. I mean, one of the things that happened on that was we learned uh, that when we backed up, we didn't look to where the door was, and so we backed it up, and the door was the opposite area from our camp spot, which was interesting so yeah. we had to actually physically turn the camper around which was like really hard <laughs> and some guy came over and helped you remember that yeah it was a nice camp spot we would have had fun it was just too short we just got there too late it's so like the round trip was probably eight hours of driving for about two hours of sunlight at the campsite it was not fun and so we just really didn't enjoy that so that's when we decided that a one night trip was never going to happen again that it had to be two nights so you had a whole day to explore and have fun so that was kind of our new motto and after that um our next trip was silver lake with our friends and we went up and we stayed on that corner spot do you remember that and then mm -hmm. they were there with their um they both had trailers and so we had the pop-up and they had trailers and we kind of just had a great time. It rained one day. I think my favorite memory of that trip was just being with friends and oh, the hiking. We went up to that hidden lake. That was probably my favorite yeah. moment of that trip. That was good. How about you? Um, I would say the, the most joyful part was when it all of a sudden just uh, up in the Sierras, it, it can start raining within half an hour. All of a sudden you get this big downpour. And we had pre-purchased a giant tarp that covered the entire trailer. And I was so happy. Uh, just to get that tarp up, I just felt super cool because nothing was going to get wet. And uh, we, we didn't know whether it would it'd be watertight yet. We hadn't, we hadn't been in the rain. It would have been, but yeah. it would have been something we would have had to dry out and all yeah. that stuff. So we just, we yeah. just had it covered with the tarp. That was nice. And you put it up. I swear, he put that tarp up. And within, like, seconds, it started ha hailing, thunder, yeah. lightning. Yeah. That was crazy. Okay, so our next trip after that, we went to Monterey. 
and we stayed at this place called Victory. Victory. I don't know. Right in the right Veterans. In the Veterans Park or something. Veterans Park. This camp spot is right in the middle of Monterey. It's up on a hill, and it, it, it is totally camping. There's no facilities. There's only um, there's a toilet. Oh, there's a shower. A shower. Yeah. Shower, toilet, and actual flush toilet, which was nice, mm -hmm. and water. And there was a lot of in and out campers that would just come and pop up their tent and leave. And backpackers and bicyclists mm -hmm, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there were RVs there too. And you could just get in your car and go touring. And one of the things we did on this trip, which was super fun, is we um, took the dogs to doggy daycare for mm. the whole day. And they got a bath. And we got to go take pictures. We got to go walk in around Monterey. We took the 17 mile drive through Carmel. It was super fun. And uh, we were comfy cozy in our camp spot. Yeah. It was really good. I'd say my favorite memory of that trip was just um, driving down the ocean and just stopping and seeing the sunset. That was so fun. How about you? Uh, I just loved being so close to everything. You're like right in the middle of the wagon wheel at this park. Uh, you wouldn't think it's possible that there is a park like this in Monterey, but literally uh, you jump in your car you're on top of the hill you drive down to the pier That's it. Uh, you go it. another direction you're at 17 mile drive you're you're right in the middle of everything and it's just a short distance from the campsite so i was really surprised we were able to find a spot but it was there was tons of tons of spots, tons open. Of spots open and yeah. it was for pay you had to pay but there was a, a host walking around checking everybody so um it was nice i think um i think i just love that place i would go back uh, so we loved that area so much, we decided to go back, and this time we were going to stay in Carmel, which is the next town down. I mean, really, you're going to see both towns if you're either one, because they're so close to each other. But I found a, a camp spot that just sounded great, but I don't think we liked this one as much. There was nothing wrong with the campsite, it just was too far out. And um, it was cool. Um, you know, we're Catholic, so we went to uh, the Mission Church and went to Mass there, so that was pretty cool. We happened to be there on Ash Wednesday, so we got our ashes on our forehead at Carmel, which was really fun. Our whole camp. family was posting our foreheads in a group text. <laughs> that was fun. And um, the camp spot was okay, but we really didn't spend any time there at all. It's like we just slept there, and the rest of the time we were out being tourists. And this time we concentrated on Carmel, and mm. it was fun. We ate out. We went shopping. We went touristing, we drove around, we did the doggy daycare at the same exact place, and so that was fun. We had a whole day dog free, and then we got to have our babies back with a fresh, freshly bathed, so that was really fun. I think my favorite part of this trip for me was the shopping. Yeah. I have to tell a funny story. We were walking down, and I wanted to go in stores shopping, and he wanted to go in art galleries, and I'm like, ugh, I don't like art galleries. That's boring. So I was being kind of a pill about it, and we walked into this one art gallery, and I and I muttered to him, not realizing, of course, that everyone can hear me. I said, ugh, another art gallery. And the lady behind the counter, she said, you need to dump her. <laughs> <laughs> I had to watch my mouth from there on out and kind of, you know, we had to take turns. If you're going to go shopping with me, then I guess I'd go to art galleries with you. It was interesting. What was your favorite part? Uh, I'd have to say I've never really spent that much time in Carmel, and that was that was just amazing, actually, just walking all the shops and seeing all the, the good stuff, you know, a ton, you know, a lot of really pricey things, but there were some affordable things, too. But just, uh, I think just walking around there, the, the weather was perfect. Um, and I would go back. Yeah, I'd go back. I'd definitely. I totally want to go There's back. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, we just kind of walked in and walked out. I, I mean, I could spend half an hour in, a, in any one of those particular galleries. So. Well, what's nice about um, Carmel and Monterey is you can go year round. Yeah. So we'll yeah. be going back for sure. We also had that, um, there's a restaurant down there that has, uh, you can bring dogs to. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, it was super cool. So and they brought water for the doggies, and it was that was really that was really yeah. fun. Traveling with dogs is fun. I need to do a whole video on that. It was really fun. Okay, so that was March, and um, in May we went to Ocean Cove for the first time, and you found that online. We had no idea what we were going for, and um, we just knew that this was near the ocean. And when we got there, we were so surprised to find that it was just right on the ocean. It was a super cool place. And we were sort of a, a, a few spots in, and so there was like our spot, and then there was a center area, and then there was the cliff spots, and then you could hear the ocean. And oh my gosh, it was so misty that it was like really wet. Mm -hmm. And we did a whole setup video. If 
you want to see that, I'll put that link to that in the description where we set we set up our whole camp spot on video so you can see how we do it. I think we get better and better every time. I should do it again. Get a little bit better every time, yeah. <laughs> some things better, some things not. Um, my favorite part of that trip was probably breakfast. <laughs> at this mm. so we didn't plan on cooking anything on this trip like most of our trips and uh so we got up we had our protein shake in the morning and then we headed out we found this cool place for breakfast that was right on the water and you sat at your table and you looked at the ocean and the breakfast was delicious and we just had such a good time and we did a lot of we hiked right after breakfast we hiked and i did a video i think i did a whole video on this if you want to see that that was our ocean camping and setup video and i'll put a link in the description box but that was a really fun trip did you have a favorite favorite time from that trip? Uh, we we didn't have the 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 spot that you know that that we ultimately went back to later. But uh, it, I was still amazed. The spot we got again was maybe a hundred yards or less from the cliff at the ocean, so you could see the ocean from our campsite. And um, I was surprised to, to find something like that. I remember looking for. Uh, camp spots with Google Earth and so I just kind of flew over the coast and I came to Ocean Cove and I, I saw these specks down right on the cliff and I zoomed in on them and I couldn't believe it there were actual campers that were right on the cliff and then, you know, normally you're on the other side of the highway somewhere up in the trees and so that's that's how we found Ocean Cove and it's lived up to everything you know you, you, it was his for you know. i challenged him because i've been doing all the planning i pl planned all the trips planned where we we're going planned where we we're staying picked out the camp spots and i challenged him to, to plan a, plan a trip and this was his first time and i think now he should be in charge because he did really good <laughs> really good at planning this trip and um our next trip was going up to eureka and it was for my granddaughter's um, graduation and we decided since the, the the house that my son has is small and they already had my daughter her husband their two toddlers my son and his boyfriend Jeff they had everybody slammed into their house they didn't need us and where would we sleep I mean really they just didn't have room for us and they didn't have a place for us to park our pop-up so we stayed at the KOA campground and this actually is our camping trip from hell and you can see that video I will put a link and he injured himself pulling out the pop-up he had injured himself before by falling uh, and he landed on his camera on his ribs so he probably uh, bruised or broke his ribs and so when he pulled out the pop it just kind of re-injured it and he was out of commission and oh it was just not a fun trip i don't mm -hmm. I didn't even want to talk no hard. favorites there Ugh. and <laughs> the next trip we took in our camp up was our family vacation and i wish i could do a video on it but i really just didn't take very much video or pictures we just enjoyed ourselves that was a fun fun trip we do it annually and we have three grown kids with families and they all come and we have such a good time and we split the duties between everybody so we're there for four or five days and everybody takes a day and feeds and does entertainment decorations all kinds of things to do activities and um you don't you only have to really work one day your yep. day and on your day you're going to really make everybody happy because there is a trophy at the end that we all want and covet and we really thought we were going to win the trophy this year we did yeah. blues uh we did Mel memphis the home of blues barbecue and elvis and we even mm -hmm. did live music we did water sports we did everything but we got beat out by our son who did amazing day of bicycle with with playing cards and games and the food was so good and every yeah. day was great so those were the two of the days my daughter did camping was her theme because she won last year she didn't really have to try too hard but she did amazing food oh yeah and then um just Jeff, Jeff and Jesse did magic which is a card game the whole family plays and they did decorations we had a tournament the food was amazing it's super fun so that was vacation and um I I would have to say I'm not going to say it was my favorite part, but the most interesting part was we were visited by a bear every day trying mm. to eat our food. <laughs> That's what I'll remember about that trip. Um, and then after that, we went to Silver Lake for our second annual trip with our friends. And this time we extended it from three days to seven. And um, we planned on going home in the middle because it's not that far from where we live. And so we planned on going home and I'm so glad we did because all it did was hail, thunder, rain. In August, yeah. just rained the whole seven days that we had that camp spot. And um, our friends were all planning on staying the whole seven days. And even they came home a couple days because it was just 
just muddy and flooded and raining. We couldn't hike, we couldn't kayak, all the stuff we planned to do, we didn't get to do. And yet I had a great time the times we were there. I yeah. loved sitting inside our camper playing cards when it was raining. I loved, um, you know, just being with our friends. I actually did a video on this trip. If you want to see it, it's our um, rain, rain trip, I think is what I called it. But I'll put a link in the subject box. And then our last trip um, was going back to Ocean Cove, which was amazing. We wanted to go back and get that cliff spot that we saw, the one spot that was just like jutted out and there you just put your chair right on the cliff. And we saw that spot and we're like, we need to go back when we don't think anybody will be there in like September. This was like in May. And we're like, come back in September when the kids are all back in school and we'll get that spot. And we did and it was amazing. And we did a video on that if you wanna see the whole trip. But I would have to say that, that my favorite part of that trip was just sitting in my chair on the cliff listening to the waves. How about you? Yeah, it was a really relaxed uh, trip. And I would say just being exposed to the ocean, like, essentially you're, in a, you're sitting in a lawn chair and there's nothing in front of you, but, but you know, thousand miles of ocean and cliffs and crashing waves. And it was the perfect spot. It was, I wish I could go there right now. I almost feel like there was nobody else at the campground, even though there were behind us. We, you know, there was nothing in front of us. So right. it was super cool. Okay, so future plans. Where do you want to go? I mean, what are we going to do? Um, I want to go back to Carmel for sure. And we also talked about going to the high desert. Yeah. Which would be maybe Death Valley. One trip would be Death Valley. Another trip would be Bodhi. We wanted to go see Bodhi, which is a ghost town up in the desert. Um, it's, is that in California? That's still in California, yeah. but it's near Nevada. So you go on the Eastern side of the Sierras. I'd love to go uh, back up to the Sierras, but we're heading into fall and you could get caught in snow. So that's not going to happen until <clears throat> next season. So for now it's probably going to be coastal. Yeah. I mean, it's September. It actually snowed up there uh, already about five days ago towards the end of September, which is really unusual. So it could be another really heavy snow. So where winter. do you want to go? I still Next summer, I'd like to go to Oregon. I still want to go high desert, but um, it might be too late for that. We'll have to check. Where else? Hmm. Maybe down by Hearst Castle or something. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of uh, th looking to do. I guess he'll be flying around on Google Earth and I'll yep. be checking on all of the camping groups to see where we're going to go next. But we're definitely going to stick with it. We've been enjoying it. And we're our goal is a trip a month and maybe something big next summer, maybe two weeks long. But um, definitely we're going to get out there. Absolutely. It's fun. Well, thank you so much for watching. Enjoyed um, catching up on our year in review and looking forward to more adventures together. I think... I have to say one of my favorite parts is just being alone together and talking and not talking and just kind of having time because we don't always have enough of that. Yeah, there, there is something about driving through beautiful scenery, just getting to the campsite with a nice cup of coffee and listening to the radio. And that's, uh, I, I, I suppose it's the same thing that motorcyclists enjoy when they go off on their uh, you know journeys, just driving through the country. So. Uh, that, but we like being together. We like doing the same things and we have similar interests like we like to do the same thing. So yeah. being together. You didn't say that. You just won't say being together. Being together. <laughs> being together with my honey. <laughs> like she could be there or not be there. <laughs> <laughs> and we both love taking pictures. So that really is super cool too. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and we'll be seeing you a lot more as we have a lot more adventures in store. Thank you.